Uh, this is a quick video to showcase a mini aquaponics setup or mini ponics. Uh, this is a project that one of my students made, a senior student who had to do a senior project at our high school. All students must complete a, a project their senior year. It has to be a project that they have no knowledge of and they have to have a mentor and various uh, th components go along with it and this one of my senior homeroom students picked this as her senior project and used me as her mentor so I just wanted to do a quick video to showcase it and show how it works uh, this was not an original idea that we had had uh, this idea was taken from a video that I had seen um, a gentleman by the name of Vinyl Ratnakaran, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, it was his video, or his original idea, I believe. And then JT Bear also did a video on one and kind of got our interest in, you know, this would be a perfect size to showcase and to do a project on. So I just wanted to show it to you real quick. Basically, all it is is a five gallon uh, water cooler jug cut in thirds. Uh, the top third is obviously the grow bed, and the bottom third is two-thirds as the fish tank. <clears throat> so she's just got a little pump down there. Uh, the pump, actually, if you see the light glowing, is attached to the pump. Uh, we have the pump run through the back, back here at the handle, where all the other cords are going through for the aerator and uh, the pump hose to run it up to the grow bed. Uh, but this little pump, I think she found for $7 on Amazon. I think it's 54 gallons per hour. And it was actually too much uh, capacity for this aquaponics unit where it's small. So we had to pipe it down and put a T in. You can see the T right here. And an extra line to help alleviate some of that pressure and some of that water coming through. So it just provides some more aeration. <clears throat> Uh, down here in the fish tank part, she just has her normal, regular large pea gravel. Uh, probably two inch size, cleaned up real well, made a base out of it. Her fish, she has two goldfish in here. Uh, they're actually, this one's kind of large for this system. But, uh, he, uh, she, she likes them, so I think a smaller goldfish might be better off. But up here with the grow bed, she has a uh, one strawberry plant growing, which has already formed a runner. If you can see that down there, it's already started rooting off of that runner. And then she planted a couple flowers in the back uh, for decoration and color. But the strawberry is done rather well. And if you can see right here, she already has a strawberry growing. And uh, there's some more here. All of the all of the flowers have turned into strawberries. And this overall, this has been a pretty successful project for her. She learned a lot. Uh, and I think she's going to build a bigger unit now. We put one little, one grow light up here on the top, just like that. Uh, this one grow light is a uh, just a heat lamp with a cheap old uh, Walmart plant bulb. Uh, 120, or no, that's a 65 watt bulb. And it seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, we just use regular old pea gravel for the media for the bed, grow bed. Uh, hydrotin would be a little bit lighter. However, the hydrotin is uh, a little more expensive, so this pea gravel was free. And last thing that she did different, she she did one thing different than the other two videos or the other two people gentlemen that I mentioned is she built this little frame that you can see here out of. Uh, one by threes, now these are one by twos, and then this base, this plywood base. So if you do see the other videos, you'll notice the difference. But there it is, mini ponics. This would be a great addition to somebody's kitchen, growing herbs, something year round like that, um, or strawberries. Uh, herbs, I think, would be the best application, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed it.